Approaching the top of the one o'clock hour, should we go to Ramsey Canyon, Wachuca Mountains? We should. Just outside of Sierra Vista. How gorgeous Ooh, is that? Yeah, Harris sent us a couple of pictures from Ramsey Canyon, also the San Pedro River. Gorgeous stuff there just outside of Sierra Vista. Harris, thank you so much. And late last week, Justin was up in Flagstaff. Just a smattering of colors there, likely all gone with, though. This a Another just gorgeous shot as Justin, one of our frequent contributors during the monsoon, turning the tables here and showing us some of the fall foliage up in the northern portion of the state. Justin, thank you. As always, we want to see your weather pictures. Facebook.com slash Beamish weather. You can tweet me at Jeff Beamish or email us news tips at KVOA.com. Currently 72 at the airport, a light northerly breeze under 10 miles per hour. Dew point into the 30s, our relative humidity low 21%. We're still in the 40s in the White Mountains at this time. 60s for Cochise, Graham, Green Lake County, 74 down the road in Nogales. That's the warm spot, not only in southern Arizona, but for the state as well. For the most part, winds are fairly light, around 10 miles per hour sustain, gusting above 10 miles per hour. Benson, Wilcox, and Sassabee. Gradually, the breeze is picking up as the day goes along, prevailing out of the east, gusting as high as 25 miles per hour. All thanks to a storm system dropping in our direction. Hard to find on satellite loop and radar, but water vapor imagery showing an area of low pressure, a very subtle counterclockwise spin just to the north of Yuma. And that's the reason the breezes will be in the forecast this afternoon, tonight, and the first half of tomorrow as well. These easterly winds probably not dialing down until about this time on your Saturday. And then on Sunday, we get a break from the breezes. Only for those winds to kick back up Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with a cold front grazing the eastern portion of the state. This front dropping temperatures as well. Upper 70s today, upper 60s as soon as Monday. Nighttime lows likely heading to the freezing mark for portions of Santa Cruz and Cochise counties. Probably going to be in the upper 30s, low 40s here in Tucson. You will notice that early next week. Today, mid to upper 70s for daytime highs, just a couple of ticks above average for this time of year. Nighttime lows bottoming out 30s, 40s, and 50s. And again, breezes lingering into the late night hours, gusting as high as 25 miles per hour. For more extended forecast, low 70s, calmer winds on Sunday. Then the Sonoran wind machine whips back up Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Only upper 60s, though, heading back to work and school on Monday and Tuesday. Nighttime lows, low 40s. Maybe flirting with the upper 20s into the mountaintops. What? Yeah, that's a little brisk to say the <laughs> least. But getting you, cold just thinking about. And that. you knew this was coming. Yeah. And typically, this is when we see the first freeze of the season for portions of Santa Cruz and Cochise counties. So it's only a matter of time.